creatures. I summon all of you to attend. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. You'll have to go through the sufferings of hell. Inframan is a Chinese superhero kaijin movie inspired by Japanese films like Ultraman. <laughs> crash-landed monster causes a serious car crash. Very serious car crash. Wow, this may be the worst car crash of all time. Speculation is rife. Professor, could these catastrophes mean the end of the world is coming? I haven't determined. That's not what you want to hear. The truth soon emerges. Who is this strange woman? Greetings to you, Earthlings. I am Princess Dragamon. Madonna's reinventions are getting tamer. What does she want? I have taken over this planet. Now I own the Earth, and you'll be my slaves for all eternity. Who can the Chinese government turn to? Here to tell us all about this Princess Dragon Mum is our scientific expert, Professor Chang. Hey, they have their own science advisor. What's his take on this? It's weird. I think our science advisor has a better catchphrase. Dragomom is accompanied by an army of demons. <laughs> Welcome to the Doctor Who convention. <laughs> Including this one who needs to be taken with water. <laughs> and... She demon! No one sprained anything coming up with that but she's clearly a favourite of Guillermo del Toro. The technology of the film is that brilliant mix of the futuristic... The communication system has broken down. There. It's in one of these disco balls. And what was cutting edge at the time? And only science can save the day. This is the result of an entire life's work. The Inframan. I don't understand. I haven't explained it yet. Inframan will be a sort of bionic man. To achieve this, a vast network of parts are inserted. Uh, could I get clarification on the word inserted? He says that it actually looks more like a very technical game of operation. Everything from knees to neck is fine as is. Chan must work fast as the demons are massing. Every series of Big Brother, there's a new gimmick. <laughs> I'm assuming it's the English language dub I have to thank for the generic demon noises. Uh, what is your desire, Princess? Let me be the first to attack the Earthlings! They attack the base. Oh, did someone buy magic beans? But Inframan is now ready. Inframan rejects your nanny state railings. And we're into the Power Rangers. I mean, the split suit is barely visible, but the trainers are unforgivable. Inframan drives them off, but scientist Chu Ming has been captured and is brainwashed. Back at the base, Inframan is further upgraded. For success, it's essential you have Thunderball fists. Thunderball fists? That's right. Thunderball fist. Now you're ready. To play bass in an 80s rock band. Chu Ming returns. We know that you were captured. What did they do to you? Nothing, nothing. Uh, where do we keep the secret stuff? Inframan is suspicious. Sir, there's something wrong with his eyes. He's not wrong. Nevertheless, they let Chu Ming just wander about the place. <laughs> and he makes it out with Inframan's blueprints, despite the hero's best efforts. We also learn he can make himself giant. I can't help noticing that this came out two years after Godzilla vs. Megalon introduced us to Jet Jaguar. Jet Jaguar, the demons attack again. Um, when we blow it up, science headquarters will be powerless. They call it science headquarters? <laughs> Mimi, Shadow. <gasps> Probably quicker to just pull out the fuse, but... Uh... 
Okay, I guess if you're committed to this. As always, we're looking at the English dub, because it's funnier. And that may have something to do with the sudden arrival of the professor's daughter. Although, she does seem to make surprise entrances. It happened very suddenly. No warning at all. Suddenly, your mother and I had our first little girl baby. <laughs> Just like that. Weird now I think about it. She is kidnapped, followed by the professor. Oh, I'm always sitting next to a weirdo on the bus. This kidnapping of science advisors is quite troubling. I think we better check in with our own. Hello, I'm the science advisor. If you have any questions, the answer is probably... no. This may affect the legitimacy of our scientific advice. I don't even know what this is. The professor is taken to the princess's headquarters, where he meets another classic Dark Corners breakout character, the upstaging background demon. Now listen to me. I've already thought about it. I'll never do what you want. Inframan leads the rescue, showcasing his latest weapon. <laughs> Flaming heels. I can't help noticing that this came out two years after Godzilla vs. Megalon. And he'll need everything in his arsenal. <laughs> After his TV series was cancelled, Inspector Gadget turned to evil. But he is brought down with a freeze ray. His check engine light is on. Yet they don't take this opportunity to kill him. And he thinks back to his safety lecture. Which seems to have been pretty comprehensive. If you find yourself frozen by liquid ice, your missiles are designed to thaw you out. Leading to a showdown with Dragamon. <laughs> ah, the hell with it. I'll just blow her up. <laughs> this is obviously nonsense. The stakes couldn't be bigger. The situation at this time is so serious that it's the worst in human history. Yet they never feel that way. But why would you try to take it seriously? Just accept it for what it is and enjoy the endless fight scenes. I'm the science advisor. And please support Dark Corners on Patreon. And this is a calculator. Thanks for watching. Please, Thunderball Fist the like button. What would you name your superhero and what would their powers be? Let us know in the comments below. I've spoken. It's all the warning you're going to get from me. You'll be destroyed. <laughs>